What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We got a great haul video for you guys this week. We picked up five items, two steelbooks, a couple supplemental things, and one Criterion Collection edition and a Scream Factory condition edition as well. So a lot, a lot, a lot added to the collection. Even though it was five items, we kind of hit all corners of the collection, so it feels like a lot. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to remind you guys of the giveaway. Go check out the monthly haul video that I posted last week. I'll put a description I'll put a link in the description below so you can go check that one out. Comment on there what your favorite Batman movie is and subscribe to the channel. If you do that, you're entered in to win and we'll be giving away a digital copy of Batman 1989. That's the really cool one with Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson. So you want that. It's a 4K digital copy, or at least that is what I was led to believe. So it is a 4K digital copy coming your way. We will announce the winner at next month's monthly haul. But anyways, we got a great weekly haul. Let's get into it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, let's check out what we got. All right, guys, let's take a look what we got this week. We picked up five items this week. It's a bit of a smaller week, but I think you're going to have a few of those coming up. Just for budget purposes, you know, one of the things I like to to let people know is you got you want to stay within your budget. You know, it's, it's really smart to set yourself a budget. Try and stay within it. Sometimes you'll be a little over. Sometimes you might even be a little under. That's okay, but it's good to set a budget. So we got five things this week that we're, we picked up to add to the collection. I want to share those with you first. Let's start with Criterion Collection. Now, Criterion released The Elephant Man. This is a David Lynch film. And, you know, this is probably probably his most acclaimed film. I think that's fair to say. Uh, this is from 1980. Uh, it stars Anthony Hopkins and John Hurt. Just, just stunning performances, honestly, by both. And when you look at the packaging of this release, um, it's really, really cool stuff. Now, Criterion usually does deliver when it comes to the packaging, um, the artwork they use and all of that. But this is just really cool. It encapsulates the dark feel of the movie. The movie is black and white. So there is a little bit of that. Um, kind of captured here on the cover. Just really cool imagery right there. Uh, when you look on the back, you get you always get kind of a description of the film itself. You get a little bit about the restoration and some of the special features on the back. And then um, you also get over here some details about the film. It is a Blu-ray, uh, 1980, 123 minutes, stereo audio. So, so interesting to, to note, there is a 4K UHD release of this film, but I don't believe in the United States of America. So I think Studio Canal, I think, did the 4K. I could be wrong about that. I could be wrong saying it was Studio Canal. But there is a 4K release of this. And... You know, I probably could have picked that up. 4K discs, as you, you may or may not know, are region-free. So you can play those on any 4K UHD player. But, yeah, I wanted the Criterion release of this. Um, I have a little tiny Criterion collection, so I wanted to add this to it. I've heard this transfer is really good anyway, so I'm excited to give it a viewing and see if I think that is the case. But you open this up, you get a tiny... Uh, it's kind of like a digi book, but it's not... There's some imagery right there, and then you pop it open, and there's your disc. But Criterion always includes, or maybe not always, but they do usually include essays. And this is a little booklet that's got a lot of information and stills involving the release. So a really cool little booklet that comes with this. But um, I'm excited to watch this and see what my thoughts are. Um, I don't have the 4K, so I won't be able to compare it to that. But I'm definitely excited to see if this is a worthy release from Criterion, who usually does a pretty stand-up job. Again, I did a video a little earlier asking, where is Criterion's first 4K UHD disc release? Still no news on that front. So I have no idea if we're ever going to get a 4K release from Criterion. I certainly hope so. But anyways, for this week, we got the Elephant Man, David Lynch, Criterion Collection. Following that up, Scream Factory pickup. I love Scream Factory. They're one of my favorite boutiques. And that's because they focus on horror. It's Shout Factory. It's a subsidiary of Shout Factory, kind of the same thing. They focus on horror movies. I love horror movies. Anyways, we got collector's edition of Ghost Ship released this week by Scream Factory. And you get this cool slip cover with it. It's got different artwork on it. This is a movie that I, I think was critically panned. It's done by the same, I want to say, I, I could be wrong about this too, but I think it's done by the same director of 13 Ghosts. Definitely the same studio as 13 Ghosts. And, um... You know, I don't know. I don't know about this one. I forget, honestly, if I like this or not. I remember watching it back in the day, but I just can't for the life of me remember if this was a film I enjoyed. Anyways, you got the disc inside and the original artwork. You can flip that over if you want this to display on your shelf. Screen Factory does a really good job with the artwork. I really actually like the new artwork on this one. I think it's really cool. But 
you know, we'll, we'll see what my thoughts are on this. Scream Factory usually, at, at the very least, does a great job with their transfers. Uh, this has, I want to see, it's definitely going to have DTS. Yeah, 5.1 audio track, so nothing egregious here. Um, but Ghost Ship by Scream Factory. Now, a random pickup. I saw it was coming out this week. I had recently picked up Jaws in 4K, um, so I wanted the rest of the movies, and I saw that this week there was this that came out, the Jaws 3 movie collection, Jaws 2, 3, and Jaws the Revenge on Blu-ray. I thought this would, subs you know, I could I could follow up my Jaws in 4K purchase with this on Blu-ray. I don't think you're ever going to see 2, 3, or Revenge on 4K, but what's cool is this actually comes with a digital code, so not only do you get the movies, but you get the digital code. All of the special features here that are listed on the back, at least, are in relation to Jaws 2, um, but this is all three films here. Oh, look, I always, that's, this is the thing. Sometimes when they, they give you these cases and they have these little flip things, they're, they're weak, but Jaws 2, Jaws 3, Jaws the Revenge on separate discs. And like I said, you did get the digital code in there. So this is just a follow up for Jaws in 4k. I just wanted all the movies. So Jaws, the three movie collection. Now we got two steel books this week, two best buy exclusive steel books. And there were three. Mad Max was also released, but I chose these two over Mad Max. Um, not the original Mad Max, Mad Max Fury Road. But I just thought these the artwork on these was really cool, and these are movies that I don't have in 4K that I wanted to add to my collection. So we'll start with this. John Carpenter's Halloween. This is the first Halloween, the OG Halloween, released uh, in Steelbook for Best Buy. This is the 4K release. Now, one of the new things I've noticed Best Buy is doing and I hope they keep this up because this is great, is they give you these slip covers for their steel books. And I love it because you don't have that little sheet of paper on the back that has all the technical information. That's gone. Now we've put that on a slip cover, which will actually protect your steel book a little more. It also adds a little bit of, as you see, look, you pull that off. There's the title. There's your information on the back, and you still got your steel book here. This steel book has really great artwork, in my opinion. You got Laurie Strode on the back, Jamie Lee Curtis. And Michael Myers on the front with some leaves to represent Halloween and Autumn. I actually really, really like this steelbook. I really like the look of this. It's matte, so it's not going to hold your fingerprints super, super badly. When you open it up on the inside, you've got the discs, the 4K disc over here with some different artwork. The Blu-ray disc, which is the might be the Blu-ray disc I already have. Um, but you pop that open just the leaves to represent autumn and Halloween. And it's just a really, really pretty and cool looking steel book in my opinion. So this was a must have at $19.99 too, not a bad price. Now granted it is for a movie that I already own on Blu-ray, but you know what? I really wanted the 4k transfer of this cause I heard good things about it. So no brainer to pick up in the steel book form. So there you go. John Carpenter's Halloween Best Buy exclusive steel book. And then finally this week, a dual feature, but a Best Buy Steelbook that I've been waiting for for a long time because I wanted to pick these up on 4K, but I saw that this was coming out and combined the two, so I waited. But this is Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. Uh, 4K of both. You get the Blu-ray and a digital code of both as well. But this artwork, man, is super cool. Check it out. You got Ash right there with the chainsaw. Some hands reaching out. All the information, once again, included on a slipcover. Love this. This is the way, Do the, keep this up, Best Buy. This is good stuff right here. And then the artwork on this thing, really cool. Ash standing on the car right there. And then, like I said, you got the hands reaching out for Ash. Really cool stuff. Um, inside, we pop this thing open. There you go. You got Evil Dead in 4K and Evil Dead in Blu-ray. And then you flip this. Same thing for Evil Dead 2. So if we pop this up, I just want to take a look. Yeah, it's just red with the cabin, but still cool stuff, man. And what a great release too, to get both of these on 4K at a pretty decent price. I did the math and it actually costs more if you buy these individually in 4K. So not only do you get the Steelbook, do you get both movies in 4K, um, but it's actually at a cheaper price than if you were to buy just the standard edition of both of these. So this is a really good deal and I would highly recommend you picking these up if you don't have these in 4K in your collection. But Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Best Buy exclusive steelbook. That's it for this week, guys. Five items. I'm really excited to do should you buys on each of these. Um, but I think we got some really good stuff this week. Small but mighty haw. That's what we'll call it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.